Hello, uh, welcome to the online edition of uh, Microeconomic Theory. My name is Elias. Uh, in this short video, I want to take you through consumer choice theory and uh, specifically I will take you through the outline and uh, then later on in the next video we will look at uh, the cardinal utility as well as the ordinal utility. Okay, so uh, in terms of the outline, so what we have is that uh, we will first uh, look at the concept of utility, uh, that is uh, cardinal and ordinal, and then uh, uh, under that we will look at the total utility, the average utility and the marginal utility. Now when we talk about the average utility, all we are saying is uh, the utility generated or rather the satisfaction generated or acquired per unit of an item consumed. And when we talk about marginal utility, we are talking about the additional utility or rather the additional satisfaction an individual would get for consuming an additional unit of a given commodity. Then uh, we will also look at the law of diminishing marginal utility and uh, this will basically uh, help us understand uh, what utility is all about and why uh, certain uh, items behave the way they do. Further to that, we will look at the indifference curve approach and specifically we will also look at the equilibrium of the consumer and uh, that will be acquired when we join the budget line and the indifference curve. And then we'll have the income and the substitution effect. And here what we'll try to do is uh, basically to break the price change uh, into the income and the substitution effect. And lastly, we are going to derive the demand curve from both the cardinal approach as well as the ordinal approach. To increase, to further your understanding, you can read Mankiw chapter number 21 or McConnell chapter 7. And a note here that I've also added uh, an additional book, which is uh, Microeconomics and Behavior, written by Frank Robert. In this book, you can read chapter 3 and chapter 4. Okay, so let's look at the concept of utility. Utility is simply the satisfaction or pleasure a consumer obtains from the consumption of a good or service. Now, when we talk about uh, pleasure or satisfaction, all we are saying is as the consumer is taking in or it, uh, consuming any item, there is that uh, satisfaction that you get or that a consumer would get for uh, doing so. And uh, such satisfaction is what we call utility. Now, a product has utility if it can satisfy a want. Any item that cannot satisfy a want is said to have no utility. Therefore, uh, utility is uh, the one satisfying power of a good or a service. Now, the concept of utility has three basic uh, characteristics. Number one is that utility and usefulness are not the same. When we're talking about utility, we're talking about satisfaction or pleasure. And when we're talking about usefulness, we're talking about the importance of a given item. Therefore, it should be noted that utility and usefulness are not the same. Secondly, utility is subjective, which means that uh, one, uh, one individual's utility or rather one consumer's utility level is, uh, is or would be different from another consumer's utility levels. For example, two people can be walking on the same road but the level of satisfaction that they derive will be different. One would be more satisfied than the other. Therefore, utility is subjective. And lastly, utility is difficult to measure directly, and this is because we are measuring the psychological mind of an individual, or rather the psychological uh, acquisition of the item. Therefore, it will be very difficult to measure something that we cannot see or something that is intangible. Moving on, we have uh, the key objective uh, for the consumer. Now, every consumer has one key objective, that is to maximize utility subject to the income. Now, when the consumer has the income, their, their direction is to consume or rather to spend the money now, in doing so, the consumer will have to maximize the utility in terms of their purchase, what they get, and uh, what usefulness they will be put to. Therefore, the consumer's main objective 
is to maximize the utility subject to the money income. Thank you very much uh, for uh, watching. Well, I will see you in the next video where we'll look at uh, the cardinal utility and how uh, they measure utility.